The ChatGPT AI chatbot is capable of some really incredible things, but did you know it's also capable of making 3D models? In this video, I'm going to show you how I use ChatGPT to make a 3D model and print it out. This isn't really a video about how ChatGPT works, I'd suggest doing some reading if you're interested in the back end. To get started, just go to openai.com and click the try button next to ChatGPT. Once you're signed up, you should be looking at this landing page where you can enter your prompts. Usually ChatGPT is pretty quick with responses, but sometimes you'll get error messages. If this happens, just wait a minute or two and try again. Now that we've covered the basics, let's talk about how you can make 3D models using ChatGPT. What's really interesting is you have to be very specific in how you ask ChatGPT to make a 3D model. So here you can see I've asked ChatGPT to make a 3D model of a motorcycle, and instead of actually making a 3D model of a motorcycle, it's telling me how I could make a 3D model of a motorcycle by doing things like using a reference photo and paying attention to details. It's sort of like the how to draw an owl meme, it's not super helpful. If you ask ChatGPT to make something a little bit simpler, like a cube, something really interesting happens. ChatGPT will actually give you step-by-step -step instructions for how to make the model in a 3D modeling program. Here, ChatGPT is walking me through step-by-step -step how to make a cube in Blender, and if I follow these instructions, they actually work. Ironically, the first step is to delete the default cube, and then immediately add a new one. But sure enough, these steps work. So following along and going into Object, Add Mesh Cube will create your cube, and then you can go one step further and scale, move, and rotate the cube. And again, ChatGPT has provided step-by-step -step instructions for all of these manipulations. So this is great, but it's still not an STL file and it's still not a printable mesh. So let's try that again. Here I've asked ChatGPT to use the STL file format and describe the geometry of a cube with a volume of one unit cubed. I'm trying to be very specific here, and this sometimes works. Sometimes ChatGPT will describe how it would do something instead of actually doing it. So here it's telling you how it would normally go about making an STL file, but it doesn't actually create an STL file. Here's where it gets interesting. I'm going to start a new chat and I'm going to use the same prompt. I'm not going to make any changes, I'm just going to run it again. And this time it actually worked. Instead of describing what the STL file would look like, it describes the STL file exactly. So it's actually showing the code that comprises an STL file. ChatGPT is generating each individual vertex, three per triangle, as well as the normal, which is all the information contained in an STL file. This file is longer than the typical output allowed by ChatGPT, but I found if you just type continue, it will pick up exactly where it left off and it'll finish your file. When you see the end solid line, that's how you know the STL is finished generating. ChatGPT can't export files natively, so what we're going to do is run through and copy each piece of code and then paste it into VS Code. So here we can see this is our STL file. These are both parts and we know it starts with solid and ends with end solid, so this is a working STL file, or at least it should be. Dragging this file into MeshMixer shows that we have a solid cube. Kind of. We have six faces, but four of them have the normals flipped. This means the triangles are facing the wrong direction. You can think of it sort of as the inside and the outside of the mesh. Pretty simple fix, we're just going to flip those triangles, and now we have a solid watertight mesh. So let's take a step back and remember that we defined this cube as having a volume of one unit cubed. This means when we drag it into our slicer program, it throws an error because it sees it as being imported in millimeters, and it knows one millimeter cubed is a little on the small side, so it'll automatically change it to inches, and you can see that here in the size window, and you can see it's been scaled 25.4 millimeters, or an inch. This means we now have a one inch cubed cube. Pretty cool stuff. We can actually go ahead and slice it and get a print preview to see what that would look like if we printed it. I printed this out on my Elgu Neptune 3 Pro, and sure enough, about an hour after I started it, it was finished. And so now I'm holding a 3D printed cube that was modeled by AI. Pretty cool stuff, right? So now that you know how to use it, what are you going to make with ChatGPT?